So everything total, this was about 24,000. No shoot. Yeah, between tear out and install. Wow. Yep. yep. Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. Look at the cat dragged in. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Is this video two or three or four? I don't know. I'm trying to run together. I'm trying to leave Ohio. He won't let me leave. I got to get back home. It's already it's eight o'clock at night. And he's like, hey, you want to see a landscape job? I'm like, do I ever? Actually, I really do. This is one that you guys might have seen on Instagram for a week or two. He's been working on this, maybe a couple weeks now. Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, so we're gonna do a little walkthrough here. A lot of you guys always wanna see landscape quotes, landscape pricing, talk numbers. I don't do a bunch of landscaping. I do soft installs, mulch, flour, simple stuff, cleanups, all that mess. This guy's a landscaper. So do you guys wanna see pricing, numbers, what he charged, how it went? Good things, bad things, the, the good, the bad, the ugly. That's what we're gonna do right now. So you wanna take it away? Let's do it. All right, Solo Cuts Landscaping. What do we got going on here, brother? Yep, so like I said, my name is Dylan with Solo Cuts Landscaping. Uh, you can find us on Instagram, YouTube, Solo Cuts Landscaping. Um, so here we had, this is our biggest project actually to date. Um, this, this whole area was completely overgrown. Uh, there was actually a shed on back here and I'll walk through that. Um, that ended up getting torn out old patio it was just it was a jungle if anything i can send brian some pictures to pop up to okay. show like what it looked like before cool um so we can start with the back and then we'll finish there with the front all right so we're taking it back here so this was completely overgrown there was just honeysuckle ivy just everything was everywhere uh we didn't do the fence work um but that was all cut back cut out she ended up having this fence installed um right in here I would say from about here over was a shed. Um, I mean, it was, like I said, this place, if you can imagine, was just a jungle. So shed got taken out. Um, so what we ended up installing here, as you can see, these natural limestone steppers. Um, these are awesome. Super, yes, yes. And some Caleb Almond. Plug Caleb Almond. You're welcome. No. Um, there you go. Check for Caleb, the thing he always talked about, though, is like a comfortable walk. So like if you walk through here, you can basically take a step like in a sense like seamless as possible makes sense you know what i mean it's super comfortable for you to walk through um on each side here um we wanted to do like a formal hedgerow so we did formal boxwood hedge it just kind of gives it like a yeah that formal look and feel and with the space that we have we're just trying to figure out how to bring in some evergreen how to bring in some plants where they're not things that are going to be like get really big so like in time as these flush out I guess if you can imagine them becoming just a solid hedgerow that you just shape up yep. to be a, uh, just a run of boxwood. So it's really going to look neat once it's everything really grows in. Um, Arbavita, she she's a big fan of these green giants, just of the foliage, how just like loose they are. Um, these will get pretty big. She was, we, you know, we let her know, so I know like these are probably going to get pretty big for this area, but. That is something she wanted and you know if the customer wants it you know we give a recommendation but you know but like i said they look great um they'll fill this in nice so just naturalize it in um so here was an old patio uh it was kind of like your diy uh homeowner edition i guess you'd say it was these concrete squares and actually what happened is is when we excavated this out uh there was a trash can a plastic trash can filled with clean gravel um and that was their french drain really so they had a <laughs> no way. it was literally like right here okay trash can plastic trash can like this it ran a pipe over here to the corner and then just that's where it went <laughs> there's nothing else so but here you can see same thing she loves flagstone um at her farm that she has that she'll be coming from uh, they have a lot of natural limestone so um so we use these large large sections of flagstone um, and you wouldn't know it, but a handful of these were actually custom cut into the patio. Yeah. To make them work. So like, custom cut, custom cut there. But like, to the blank eye, you would never know that they were they were cut in. Um, pretty neat though. Like using these large flagstone steps. So you'll see a lot of people they'll use like the smaller ones. So just a little tip. If you have, in a sense, like the equipment, which you know we have the dingo with us. Um, these are a lot easier to work with because, you know, say there's 15 pieces of flagstone here versus this would take a hundred pieces of flagstone, whatever. So you're trying to piece these little ones together. It's a lot easier to line up these big ones. Um, and I feel like it gives it a better look, yeah. to be honest with you. Um, 
you don't have as much void space in between any uh, for like your joints it's not as as much so you get more stone for the patio um, then pergola uh, she had ordered the pergola in so we just did uh, a little bit of more manufacturing in there to stabilize it up so we actually set footers and have um, oh like a three by three post in each one so that way this is sure not to go anywhere um, and then we cut it into the the patio as well we cut the stone all the way around it so that way it looks like it's just part of the patio yeah um, so she'll have been you know seats up here she'll have a nice propane um, little gas burner you know what I mean uh, just a nice little seating area and as you can see here these limestone boulders this is a pretty cool this was a little bit of an add-on that we did uh, just to give like a unique look because a lot of people don't have these so you, know, you can sit here pretty comfortable in height to where any you know I'm six one so to be able to just sit on these comfortably um, she can you know put serving trays out here you know if she has guests over they can come you know you have a charcuterie board up there you yeah. know how it is um, they can do their thing as you can see too we got lighting all throughout um, we've really been getting into the lighting aspect uh, and it's like I was talking to Brian it seems to kind of be uh, like Every inquiry, yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, like I said, no one actively advertises it here in town, so uh, hopefully we can be like become known as the lighting company of our area. You absolutely. know what I mean? The ones to install it. So you know what they say: the riches are in the niches, right? That's hopefully. right. That's right. Looks clean. Yeah. So same thing. It's all comes through. Um, so we continue our providers out through here in the hosta. Um, the plan is is for this because there's a lot. If you can see, you have concrete patio river rock hard patio so we wanted something so we split the put mulch in here um but the big thing with these though is we're hoping like as these are provided get bigger they'll come out to the patio a little bit your hostas will kind of just like soften it up sure in a sense you know what i mean because if we river stone this we kept small stuff it's like everything's just like hard rock rock, rock right rock, rock. right so so hopefully this will naturalize it in a little bit also you can see up top uh the neighbor is right there, so the plan is is for these to get nice tall, and tall. tall. Yeah, these can be cut back, but for these to get tall, tall to uh, shield some privacy um, here to the backyard, so that way she doesn't feel like she has eyes watching her when they have guests out here. That's awesome. And then um, out here, we're gonna we're, we're gonna be probably incorporating a new landscape on this side. Um, so there actually used to be a pool back here. Oh, okay. We didn't fill it in, obviously, but um, but yeah, there used to be a pool back here. I guess years ago so uh she's not sure how she wants to do this area but i'm sure we're going to be putting in new land i know we're definitely doing new landscape on this side and around the house but for this area here um she has a little drainage issue kind of pulls up some water over here so that's got to be figured out before we can really do nice really do anything um this yeah. turned out great honestly it looks really really good um how long did this take you to do it again? Um, because of the rain, we were here for about three weeks. Okay. Um, good part is though, like man hour wise, the man hours I projected to be here, um, we actually hit our man hours. We're actually below our man hours. So man hour wise, we we're fine. It was just the, um, I guess the delay time of like half days and all that, where I was like, man, like I was expecting like two full weeks. It just dragged it, out. It just dragged out. Yeah. Yep. And plus. Um, I did a lot of tear out though in this uh, last fall. Okay. Yep, yep. So I did like a lot of the big tear out last fall of the plant material wise. Um, yeah, so it's did some work last year to kind of get it ready to go for this spring. So, uh, like I said, man hours wise, we, we hit it pretty good. It was just that delay time. And plus, you're like, as we're here on this big job, our list of jobs coming down the pipe are just piling so i was like the stress. i think that was just the overwhelming stress of it was sure. just you know when to get off this job to start rocking and rolling but but no we are super happy with how it turned out it, um it honestly looks really nice like it's quiet it's quaint like you get those lights that uh light up on the pergola little string yep. lights yep it would be really nice to host people back here yep absolutely and you know the big thing for her is like i was kind of talking with brian she was in an accident that kind of um her changed her life um so like the big thing is for her like she was the person that would be in the garden like she was okay with spending two hours in the garden every single day sure. um but because of her accident she was in um a lot of things like 
is low maintenance. It's things that like she didn't necessarily have to tend to. So because she is, you know, walker ridden, um, she loves being in the garden. Well, when we did a project at her farm, what we came up with is by installing, you know, getting multiple pots in here, she can still do, like she can come up here, do her thing, and she can do all her seasonal pulls. So, you know, springtime, she can put in her spring flowers. Fourth of July comes, she can put in summer flowers. Fall time, you get her mums in, her, you know, she can just still be in it, but this is accessible for her, you know, I mean, manageable for her, and we can take care of, you know, the rest of basically it. anything else. Yep, absolutely. Um, do you want to talk numbers? I know one of the biggest questions I get from guys is numbers. Um, mm -hmm. You can be as detail or not detail or do yeah. two and a half X charge for things, um, a ton of this or whatever that. Yeah. A any numbers you want to help that might help these guys out? Because I know your biggest thing was getting into more landscaping. Yeah. Uh, so I'm sure videos like this helped you out back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, Keith Kalfas and Almonds absolutely. and yeah. Dirt Monkey or whoever else. But yep. Um, do you want to drop the bomb? How much does a job like this cost? I'm kind of curious. <laughs> so everything total, this was about twenty four thousand. No shoot. Yeah, between tear out and install. Wow. Yep. yep. So okay. it is. Now you know you could. Someone may say, "Oh man, you could have got that for you know thirty, whatever." I don't know. You know, it just everyone has a different market, whatever. Um, but no, we like for business our size. You know, I factored in you know our materials, our labor hours, and. You know, it lined up for what I wanted. You know what I mean? And um, for what we what we were doing here, like I said, I would have felt really great about that number, but the rain was what really kind of just dragged it on. Like sure. I told you, I said, I probably won't do book jobs like this size until like starting May one. This the weather's a little more predictable ish, sure. if you can say it's predictable. Right. Um. Yes. Yeah, so just take for instance, Riverstone. Riverstone is. I had no idea. Like the the cost of Riverstone across you know the area is, is ridiculous like we get lime because it's limestone all the way around here I mean we get this for like I get this for like $15 a ton okay some people are like what we install it at is what they purchase it at you oh, know wow. what I mean so yeah. like the yeah. price fluctuation I, my thing is is Riverstone is very hard to install just because it's labor intensive luckily we have the equipment to help do like the wheel, like no more wheel bearing it in, which we still kind of had to in some areas over here. But you shouldn't be doing any more than $150 per ton installed. I'll say that for okay. Riverstone. Are you less? No less. No yes. Less. Yes. Like, but that's like based off of us getting it for, you know, $15, $17 a ton. That's fair. Now, if someone's getting it for $150 a ton, well, then you better be like 5X. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 10X. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it is, it is very hard. Like, Taking a rake through this to rake it through, you know what I mean? Get it, you know, pretty, fairly smooth. Like, it takes a lot of effort. It's not like just mulch, you know, where you can just Sling whip it out. it out in no time. Um, um, what about for, for the shrubs and the plants? Really quick while we're this yeah. way. Um, so I have to backtrack, but shrubs and plants, are you like guaranteeing them 2X, 3X? Um, I don't guarantee. Uh, I don't do a warranty on plants, to be honest with you. But I'll. Depending on the circumstances, if I'll warranty something out or not. And the reason why is that, so we always give recommendations and we always give best advice and practices to our customers on how to maintain, like, say, like, watering wise. Biggest thing is watering. Um, so, like, the reason why I don't warranty is because it's not my fault if you don't water them enough. Right, it's hard to guarantee. Because, like, we're watering. doing everything on our end by mending in compost, putting in good topsoil, whatever, to give the plants the best chance of survival right now if on that end it's like all right you gotta stay up on the watering because if not then you know so we don't do want warranty but like if we lose a shrub you'll if replace it, it lose a shrub we'll replace it yeah if we're talking like a whole landscape burnout it's like ah there's got to be something going on but like yeah depending on what it is we'll you know because like i said you're you don't want to lose a customer over you know like Eighty dollars shrub. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Okay. So, did you guys do the landscaping same day up front or a different day, or how that all work? We had to take this one in phases because it was so wet. So we were dealing with like super wet conditions. So we kind of had to tackle certain phases at different times because um, you know running equipment and everything, as you can see. So the reason why it looks like this. Um, I was like, this, this, is this the solo cuts way? Yep, yep, that's how we leave it, just like that. <laughs> uh, and let the customer deal with it. No, so I'm just messing, bro. So what happened is, <clears throat> is um, she had a new concrete wall sidewalk put in. She widened it out a little bit. So 
Um, yeah, it looks nice though. Yeah, yeah, the concrete turned out great. Uh, there's some aspects that didn't. Um, <laughs> I guess they busted some irrigation a few times, so the irrigation tech had to come out here. Um, you can see some of our lights were put on its side. Oh, I so, see. Yeah, yeah. Um, a little TLC needed. Yep, yep. So we'll be back out here to get everything straightened back out and in order. But anyways, as you can see here though, a lot of similar plantings of what you saw on the back. So something I like to do when we're doing a landscape plantings is I'm not going to put in just 500 different style plants. We're going to kind of make sure everything is symmetrical with one another. Everything kind of lines up and is in sync. So you can see here another boxwood hedgerow, formal boxwood hedgerow. Um, so it, like I said, you know, this one's in a little bit of an arc, but the point is, is once these naturalize in and shape in, it is be a nice uniform um, uh, hedgerow. Uh, on the back side here, which we do have in the back behind that uh, seating wall, these are hydrangea, so these are gonna give her tons of blooms. Um, they bloom June through uh, fall time, so nice part about that is you get blooms most of the year. Um, you don't have to deal with thorns like roses and they don't drop their blooms like in your stuff. So hydrangea, my goal is to plant 100 hydrangea in a year. Hello, how are you guys? Excellent, Good. thank you. Thank you, we're on the... He's, fa we get... He's famous on YouTube. Oh, shoot, whatever. Landscaper of the year. Look at the truck. <laughs> Big yeah. time. Thank you very much, y'all have a good night. <laughs> Thanks, bye. <laughs> Landscaper, you were landscaper of the year. Yeah, we were landscaper of the year. He's not lying. No. <laughs> Check uh, in the mail. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So if you can imagine this, though, this was literally just years and years of overgrowth. Okay. Um, like I said, I'll send you pictures if you want to plug them in. Sure. It was wild. Uh, so to get this thing to a blank slate and then like what it is now is pretty pretty huge crazy. overhaul. Yeah. Yeah, really is. Um, so there's drip irrigation on throughout. Uh, I didn't install the drip. Um, there's already there's irrigation all through this lawn. Um, so irrigation is not my thing. So I subbed out the irrigation part, okay. uh, the irrigation tech that does all the blowouts and everything. He came in, did the drip for me, worked out pretty darn well. This was an existing tree. We, we, we kept that because it was, everything was still in great shape. But like I said, if you see how it's symmetrical, like it all ties in together on this side of the landscape mimics this side of the landscape. Yep. So, yep. Kind of a mirror almost. Yep. Yep. Really it is. So like once this thing's like start naturalizing in, it's really going to look look pretty cool when they did the concrete it was in the instructions to bury the wire for our lighting which oh. they kindly left us above oh no so this was go underneath but so we like you said like i said we still got some work to do around here because of it um so just a little fyi if uh if your customer ever says like they're going to have you know concrete contractors whatever um just be prepared to have to still come back and do some work because like that was one thing I was talking to Caleb about. Like, could you imagine Brian, me coming in or hiring someone to do a project, and this is what they leave you? And they leave it like it. Like I could not imagine as a lance, like a like doing our end, like say you know come through and do here a patio yep. walkway and be like, oh yeah, by the way, this is what we're gonna leave you. We're just gonna leave all of this. Yeah, I mean, they weren't supposed to be here to do that concrete till twelve. They showed up at eight. Oh okay. So it was like. We can't, get their way. we can't do any work here until they get that done and we when i saw them tearing stuff up i was like we're out of here yep yep so i was like when they're when they're all done doing their thing and we figure out exactly what we're going to be doing i told her we're going to have to schedule another meeting to uh to go over what we have to do now because that in itself will be another project so but yeah so mulch right through here um the reason why we did mulch through here is uh well one big thing from the roadside whatever um you would never see his riverstone right here right so you know to save a little bit of cost we was like hey why don't we just we can just go ahead and mulch this plus you know it's like it'll still look great it'll match the the shutters on the house and everything so did you use like a plan like u vision or one of those deals or do you hand draw everything or yeah, what hand you... drawn. yep yep okay so, yep uh i really want to get software there's a design software i'm really looking into which one um landscape landscape pro okay pro landscape design there they, there's like three of them that literally have the same verb is just um if you guys like got a, some great software suggestions leave them down below what do you guys use it's like a 1600 dollar software there you go but it's like the best i mean it's it's like next level stuff okay um and plus like what would be nice is like you can import like i can get the measurements off here i can put them straight into there and like the, so the nice part about the software is it'll show you like say you drop in this blue point juniper it'll show what its mature si size is okay 
So that way, like, it'll say you have it to where it just shows, like, the 2D wise. It'll show that to where, like, it'll help you on, like, your spacing of, like, okay. what will these things be when they're mature? Because that's, that's what you want to think of um, when you're installing landscape is don't think about what it looks like when you install it. Because this hydrangea in three years will be this tall, this wide and this tall. Right. You know, obviously with pruning, you can even scale it back a little bit, but these things will fill in super nice. So if I did plant, 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 in three years, it's gonna look just like a solid, just mess. Like, I like to see spacing in my plants and landscape, and yeah, it'll, everything will mature in just fine. With the best landscaper of the year. <laughs> oh no, I'm just messing. <laughs>